Today, I would like to introduce the new features within Autodesk Simulation Composite Analysis 2014, which was previously Helios MCT. As you may know, Firehole Composites was acquired by Autodesk, and now Firehole's products are being rebranded and upgraded within the Autodesk framework. The potential for the products offered by Firehole is now enhanced by leveraging the technology of Autodesk to provide an unparalleled user experience. Before continuing with a description of the new features, I would like to take a minute to introduce the audience to the new Helios MCT and the current capabilities of the software. As mentioned in the introduction, Helios MCT is now Autodesk Simulation Composite Analysis. The product is an add-on to existing FEA packages such as Abacus and Ansys as a new material definition specifically designed to handle the complexities of progressive failure analyses using composite materials. The product currently supports progressive failure for continuous fiber unidirectional and plain woven lamina, as well as modeling delamination using cohesive elements. Continued platform support for existing FEA packages and new technology introduction into the software will continue as an Autodesk product. Now let's discuss the new features in the 2014 release. After talking with current customers, we decided to implement new technologies and expand the current capabilities of the software for the 2014 release. The new features include implementation of the LARC-02 Lamina Failure Criteria for progressive failure analysis. The LARC-02 Failure Criterion was developed by NASA and provides a means to predict failure for both the fiber and matrix constituents of a unidirectional material using lamina level stress and strain states. The addition of the LARC failure criterion rounds out a comprehensive set of the leading composite failure criterion for use within progressive failure analyses using Autodesk Simulation Composite Analysis. Many customers have requested support for 4, 5, and 8 harness satin weaves in addition to the plain woven solution included in the software. The 2014 release has these added functionalities for the 4, 5, and 8 harness fabrics. We have also implemented a progressive fatigue solution for both unidirectional and woven composite lamina. Let's take a closer look at the fabric and fatigue solutions for more information. New micromechanics models have been developed to ensure accurate simulation of the satin fabrics. Now a user can select to use one of the identified satin materials using Material Manager and save the material for use within an FEA analysis. The micromechanics models allow for failure to be identified and propagated at the constituent level as within the actual fabric. Finally, we have developed and implemented a physics-based fatigue theory for progressive fatigue simulation within an FEA analysis. The fatigue solution is developed to predict the number of cycles to failure at the constituent level for both unidirectional and woven materials, including the newly introduced satin fabrics. The additional material characterization within Material Manager for fatigue analysis is very simple and straightforward. The user can now visualize damage patterns and cycles to failure anywhere within the composite part, as well as identify the cycles to global failure of the composite structure. If you have any questions or would like more information on Autodesk Simulation Composite Analysis, please email Jason Geis at jason.geis at autodesk.com.